Hey everyone, it's Alana here. So initially, I wasn't going to talk about this, but a lot of you requested this topic, and as you all know, you ask and you shall receive. Selena Gomez has stirred up some headlines in the news lately because people think she's dating Drew Taggart. And for those of you who are like me and wouldn't know who this is without a photo of him, he's part of the electric duo, The Chainsmokers. In a very short span, all of it came at once. We randomly had the news from Us Weekly and Page Six, then a doom wall confirmation, then a traditional Selena Gomez denial via Instagram stories, then Page Six reported them kissing, then they were spotted holding hands, and now there's rumors Drew cheated on his ex with Selena. And all of this then resulted in apparently a Justin Bieber Instagram unfollow. Let's backtrack. January 15. Page Six obtained photos and videos of Selena and Drew during a date night out in New York City. Eyewitnesses told the outlet that they were caught making out. January 16, Us Weekly posted an article that read, Exclusive, Selena Gomez is off the market. Details about her relationship with the chain smokers drew Taggart. Then, a fan, or whoever, sent the screenshot to Dumois and said, Yes, this is true. She was seen making out with him at a bowling alley last night per my DMs and then posted a screenshot from her DMs where this source said, Are Drew Taggart from Chainsmokers and Selena Gomez dating? Saw them making out at a bowling alley in the LES. Once Us Weekly was on the story, we started getting claims about their relationship and how it's very casual and low-key. The source said, They aren't trying to hide their romance by sneaking around at members-only clubs. They like to spend quality time and go bowling and go to the movies. January 19, Selena denies rumors in a now-deleted Instagram story where she writes, I like being alone too much. And then in the bottom right corner, she hashtags, I am single. Then on January 22nd, Selena and Drew were spotted holding hands. After this, fans on Twitter started noticing that Justin Bieber no longer follows Drew on Instagram, and they speculated that it was because of his recent activity with Selena. Then, more fans started noticing the suspicious timeline of Selena, Drew, and his ex-girlfriend, Eve Jobs. I'm sorry, Steve Jobs' daughter. Uh, he got it like that? This guy? I'm just sorry, flabbergasted. It's not 2016 anymore, so the chain smokers aren't in every nightmare of mine. So I haven't really caught up with them since ever, actually. When fans said he cheated, I just pictured some poor random model, but no. This seems to be a solid theory because Eve, Miss Jobs herself, deleted her Instagram once the news broke out that Selena and Drew were together. Yikes. That's usually a sign. Another huge sign was that they were just together, literally a few weeks ago. Eve and Drew spent his birthday together and spent New Year's together. And if you recall, New Year's was just a month ago. So of course this Us Weekly source, who seems to have all the answers, I wonder which team they're representing, dismissed Eve and Drew's relationship. They said it was a casual summer fling. Pause. Summer fling, but yet here they are on New Year's. So casual summer fling, and then they apparently remained friends, who are very mature and cool about going their separate ways and are totally amicable. Right. 
They're so amicable, she deleted her Instagram the same day news dropped about Selena and Drew dating. They're such good friends that on December 14th, he posted photos kissing her. See, that's what I love about these rare friendship bonds, where you're really connecting by making out with each other. The same source says that Selena is so affectionate with Drew that she can hardly keep her hands off him. Can't keep my hands to myself. I don't know, what do you guys think? The cheating rumors seem solid to me, I mean it is Hollywood after all, and somehow these celebrities just can't stop cheating on each other. Also when I picture Hollywood's Romeo, it ain't him. Dumois also posted a clip saying that a source confirmed to her that Eve didn't know anything was up with Drew and another girl, and believe it or not this seems like something that actually happened solely based on the facts alone new love interest. Somebody responded saying, I can confirm that Eve didn't know anything. If the Us Weekly article is true and him and Selena have been sneaking around, he for sure cheated on her because Eve and him were serious. Then comes the Justin Bieber theory. Somehow, even when he truly and physically isn't involved, her fans find a way to put him in her news. Some fans on Twitter decided that it would be funny to post a screenshot that shows Justin and Drew don't follow each other anymore. And at first glance, with no fact checking in mind, it really does seem like he unfollowed him. For a split second, even I was like, okay, yeah, he's kind of creepy. But my dear friends, this information is from 2017. Years ago, Justin was on an unfollowing spree and unfollowed a bunch of people, including the Chainsmokers, in 2017. Not now. This tweet, made by a Selena fan, of course, says, LMAO, this man is married for five years, BTW, with a photoshopped date that says Justin unfollowed the Chainsmokers from a Bieber News account. The tweet got about 2,000 likes and over 200k views. Justin's following amount hasn't changed in a while. An account on Instagram posted a screenshot congratulating him on reaching 271 million followers, and as we can see, his following count is 733. That was on December 26th. The amount hasn't changed now. It's still 733. So clearly, there was no recent unfollowing of the Chainsmokers. But Selena fans will always be Jelena fans. I find it hilarious that Drew's ex-girlfriend was Chantel Jeffries, who was hanging around Justin a lot back in his bizzle days. So not only did Chantel try and fail at taking Selena's leftovers, Selena took Chantel's. And Drew, who called Haley hot in 2016 and followed her on Instagram, will be appearing on her Who's In My Bathroom YouTube series with his music partner Alex Paul. It's just like a circle. And what else does Selena and Chantel have in common? They both tried to sue me. And now, what you've all been waiting for, my opinion. It's too early to tell for sure anything, but from the way this whole story unfolded, there's definitely some publicists being paid to go spin a certain type of narrative. It's reeking of attention, but at the same time, it could probably just be a fling. Drew isn't ever single, really. We spoke about his ex Eve, and we spoke about how he was with Chantel for like a year. He even publicly hooked up with a porn star with some very questionable morals. So it's not like this is some love at last type of thing. They're probably just hanging out and hooking up for real, but it's also a very attention seeking grab. And listen, I'm all here for it. I'll be the first to say Selena needs some new tea that has nothing to do with Justin. And it doesn't help that all the articles talking about Selena and Drew have to mention Justin and give us a short synopsis on what happened there. Who cares? If Selena wants to keep something private and very low-key with a celebrity, she can. She was with Jimmy Butler for a few weeks, going on dates and having an entire relationship with him without one single photo coming out of the two. 
so it can be done and this whole privacy thing is bull with celebrities but why not hang out with a guy you're sort of into and you can both reap the attention benefits I know for a fact nobody was talking about Drew before this whole thing with Selena happened. And relationship talks always bring the youth back in Selena. The fact that she did her very traditional story post of I'm single when she is indeed hooking up with the guy is so Selena. And just proves she's loving this as well. It's like her signature move to be out with him and still deny it. I'm single! One, it drives the guy she's with crazy because it's dismissive to them and leads them to overthink. And two, it keeps us on our toes trying to figure out what's going on. Anyway, it's just a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see us talk about next. Don't forget to follow us on our social medias, like and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.